In this session I'd just like to cover some of the main aspects of XMind, a mind mapping program. Again, this one is uh, open source, doesn't cost anything. So let's start Mind XMind from the My Study Bar toolbar. Let's give it a couple of seconds to start up. So when it starts up you can see that the interface is very, uh, very plain, very nice and easy to use. Uh, it has some of the tools that you recognize with some of the commercial uh, products such as importing images, um, importing attachments, uh, links to or hyperlinks. The topics um, is very easy to use for example just by right clicking onto the topic you can insert topics, subtopics. You see there there's a shortcut for tab so by highlighting it and pressing the tab key or even the enter key will also bring up. So if you're doing a brainstorming session it's very good for just getting ideas down very very quickly. You can see on the right hand side there's also a linear uh, as well as a visual so anything that's done on the map is, is um, duplicated on the right hand side as well. So uh, you can also insert subtopics just as you normally would and again you can see how this is highlighted on the right hand panel. If I want to maybe change the colour or the format of, of the look of the, the node, the new node, it's easy to do that as well just by right clicking and adding that information. I'm going to bring in a mind map I've done earlier, just to give you a better idea of some of the features that it uh, can, can do. So if it's, for example adding an image, you can resize that image, it recognises most images. By building in a hyperlink, I can click a hyperlink in, and it quite nicely fits it within the page. So if you're doing some study, you can quickly uh, find up the information that you're looking for, get a preview of it. If you wanted to, you can see it full screen within the mind mapping program or again just minimize it to the left hand panel or as once you finish with the mind mapping office you can just close it as well. You can also add in notes and these notes will be contained when you export the map so any notes that you can take maybe expand if you're planning an essay and you're expanding the information you can adjust the text and export that text as well. So let's go to the next stage now and actually export the, the mind mapping to that just one thing, you can also change the background colour as well. So if you have a topic light sensitivity difficulty, it's nice and easy to change those colours. So let's go and change, let's export, sorry, the mind map to, well, we're going to do it to Word, but we have to first of all go to an HTML. And I'll, I'll explain this as we go through. So I'm just going to type in export to Word as the file. Um, you can see there that there's, you can import the mind map, all the headings that you've got, the um, notes, the images, so all these things can be retained when they're exported to Word or even PowerPoint if you chose it to. So let's finish that and this is the next stage is when you export that you get asked well you know where do you want to export it, is it Internet Explorer, Firefox, but there should also be an option for Microsoft Word. So click on the Microsoft Word option and then automatically that brings out Word. Now this is obviously quite important because this means that you can now start, a student can start expanding on the essay that they have to write. The planning phase is over and the next stage now is just building on the information that the student has. You can change the, the mind map, resize that, reposition it if you want. You can see also it's brought in all the images, the headings, everything that we asked it to. So I'll just quickly resize that and then of course I can delete that once I've finished. So there it is, I can start working on my essay now and uh, just click that off. So XMind, free, open source, but very, very powerful and one that's uh, well worth considering.